So welcome back. Uh, this test, we're going to be doing a constant load respiratory muscle endurance test. So again, I have Melissa here as our mock patient. We did a little bit of familiarization before this test. Again, similar to every test, you want to make sure you have enough time to go through the instructions with your patient. Now this test, we're going to use the data calculated from our maximum pressure test. You can either use the tire test or different just, you know, uh, MIP tests uh, to generate the load the patient's going to breathe against. Typically, you'll use either 75, 70, 50, or 25% of their maximum inspiratory pressure. Um, we'll just set this at an arbitrary 25, so assume Melissa can generate 100 um, centimeters of water, but we'll set it at 25 just to be safe here. Um, you can either ratchet this down or ratchet it up to increase the pressure threshold. Now, um, every breath that Melissa generates sufficient pressure, the valve in this device will open to allow air to flow in. Okay, so that's the load she's breathing against each breath. We'll set, um, to keep the cadence consistent, we'll set the her breathing to a metronome. So every tick, she'll take a breath in. Again, we'll typically we go for as long as we can. Um, we're not gonna do that here, we'll just do a few breaths here just to demonstrate this and then you record the time. So we kept the load and pace consistent. Now, the test ends obviously when the patient can no longer continue or if they fail to move the plunger back three times uh, cons consecutively. So uh, that will be considered a, 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 a calls for terminating the test. Okay, so three, three failed reps. Um, all right, so uh, Melissa, I'm gonna have you place the mouthpiece on here. And I'm just going to get you used to kind of breathing with the uh, uh, the metronome here. Well, before breathing against that, just get kind of used to breathing. Oh. Okay, kind of got it? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to have you clip your nose just like the last test. Okay, I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to leave the metronome here so you can see. Okay, ready? Okay. Set. Go. And I'm watching to see the valve move back each time. And we'll stop here. You can unclip your nose there, Melissa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So again, um, a lot of your healthy patients will typically go for a, for a little longer. So you might want to use a higher resistance, some more of that you know, 75%. But if it's a lower level patient, that 25% may be a good testing uh, load to work against. That's something you just kind of have to tailor to each patient. Are always asking as well if the patient's getting lightheaded during this. So uh, what we could have done is ask Melissa, if you get lightheaded during the test, just stop. Um, I may ask you if you're feeling well, just give us a thumbs up or thumbs down because obviously they're not going to be able to talk during this test. It's kind of hard. Yep. <laughs> um, so uh, that's the test there. So again, we have uh, strength measures and we have endurance measures. This is a really simple way of doing an endurance test. Thank you.